Good morning. So I am pre-recording this because uh, at seven o'clock I will be boarding a flight. But um, once I'm on board, I will be saying the prayer. Um, but this is just pre-recorded so I can upload it. So it could be dispersed at seven o'clock in the morning and we could start with an Our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, glory be to thy name. Thy kingdom will come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil ones. Amen. And of course, our purpose is 2 Chronicles 7.14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and will heal their land. And of course, we're going to put on the full arm of God, which is Ephesians 6.11 through 6.20. So let's put on the full arm of God for his precepts. For preparation are likely the splendid armor of heavily armed soldiers, that we may be able to successfully stand up against all the schemes and the strategies and the deceits of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, contending only with physical opponents, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in heavenly places. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, that you will be able to successfully resist and stand firm in your place, fully prepared, immovable, and victorious. Stand firm and hold your ground, having tightened the white band of truth around your waist, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, an upright heart, personal integrity, and morals, having strapped on your feet the gospel of peace in preparation to face the enemy with firm foot of stability, and the readiness produced by the good news. Above all, lift up the protective shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil ones. Take the helmet of salvation. sorry about that, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, at all times, on every occasion, and in every season, in the Spirit, and with this view, stay alert with all perseverance and petition, interceding in prayer for all God's people. Pray for me that the words may be given to me when I open my mouth to proclaim boldly the mystery of the good news of salvation, for which I am an ambassador in chains, and pray that in proclaiming it, I may speak boldly and courageously as I should. So, of course, my message of every day, I'm sorry about the noise, um, is to get close to your father. It is important time right now. And so we will proceed with Psalm 144, 1 through 15. Sorry about that. It's a little uncomfortable here. So, blessed be the Lord, my rock and my great strength, who trains my hands to for war and my fingers for battle, my steadfast loving kindness and my fortress, my high tower and my rescuer, my shield and he in whom I take refuge, who subdues my people under me. Lord, what is man that you take notice of him, or the son of man that you think of him? Man is like a mere breath. His days are like a shadow that passes away. Bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they will smoke. Flash lightning and scatter my enemies. Send out your arrows and confuse and embarrass and frustrate them. Stretch out your hands above. Set me free and rescue me from great waters out of the hands of hostile foreigners who surround us, whose mouths speak deceit without restraint, and whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song to you, O God, upon a harp of ten strings. I will praise to you who give salvation to kings who sets David, his servant, free from the evil sword. Set me free and rescue me from the hand of the hostile foreigners, whose mouth speak deceits without restraint, and whose right hand of falsehood. Let our sons in their youth be like plants full grown, and our daughters like a corner pillar fashioned for a palace. Let our barns be full, supplying every kind of produce, and our flocks be full 
bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our fields. Let our cattle bear without mishap, without loss, and let there be no outcry in our streets. How blessed and favored are the people in such circumstances. How blessed, fortunate, and prosperous and favored are the people whose God is the Lord. Psalm 2, 7 through 12. I will declare the decree of the Lord. He said to me, you are my son. This day I proclaim I have begotten you. Acts of me and I will surely give you the nation as your inheritance and the ends of the earth as your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron. You shall shatter them in pieces like earthenware. Now therefore, O kings, act wisely, be instructed and take warning. O leaders, judges of the earth, worship the Lord and serve him with reverence, with awe-inspired fear and submissive wonder. Rejoice, yet do so with trembling. Kiss, pay respect to the Son, so that he does not become angry and you perish in the way for his wrath may soon be kindled and set aflame. How blessed, fortunate, prosperous, and favored by God are those who take refuge in him. God is good and he loves his children dearly. So with these words, we pray to our Holy Father in heaven through his beloved son, Jesus Christ, to heal God's people's minds, to restore God in their hearts, to then be able to save their souls all through the miracle of our glorious Father in heaven, through his beloved Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. If it is in our Father's will, through the mighty power and authority of Jesus Christ, we ask to bind the... We ask to bind... Those evil spirits break apart their rituals and restore love and peace in the land. Bind. Those evil spirits break apart their rituals and restore love and peace in the land. And of course, this is a global prayer, so we ask for peace and love all over North America, Central America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, requesting special attention to the United States, Ukraine, China, Russia, Canada, Netherlands, Cuba, Panama. Argentina, Bulgaria, Sri Lanka, Italy, Germany, Bangladesh, and Ecuador. And of course, I know that list is going to be going, going bigger once I get home and I'm able to do the homework. In any case, and any other countries that have been resisting the injustices being forced on them, remember, for God says, it's the meat that will inherit the earth. Victory is ours. Stand united. God is with us all. Let the truth come out in all these affairs. We thank Almighty Father and His beloved Son, Jesus Christ, for hearing our prayers, and we humbly are honored for receiving His words. I am truly humbly honored for everything that He has put me to do and my assignments for this past couple of weeks. Um, once I get home, I'm going to be able to start uploading uh, all the filming that I did, which is extremely exciting because everything that I was able to get done. Um, and so I am not going to take up more time, but you know my message of every day is get close to your father. We are in a time of judgment, and it's time for people to get close to their father. And no one could do it but you. Bendición.